afternoon. How are you? My name is Dr. Malik Rahim. Um, I am a lecturer here at Seattle University, and I kind of wanted to sit down and meet with you briefly because we're not going to meet on Monday. And one of the reasons we're not going to meet on Monday is because I have two sections of the same course on um, you know, assessment and testing and counseling. And the thing is that I will be meeting with each section every other Monday. So to make it fair, I figured that I record this video as an introduction um, and kind of give you an overview of what we're going to do in the course so you have an understanding. And then, you know, when we start meeting, we'll, um, we'll sit down and if you have any questions, we'll be able to go over any questions. But um, that's kind of how I want to do it, make sure it's all even. So one won't get the intro, one section won't get the introduction. And one will, I didn't want to do it that way. I wanted to make a recording and then that way everyone to get their introduction. Okay. Um, let me introduce myself. My name is Dr. Malik Rahim. As I said earlier, uh, I was born and raised in Chicago, Illinois. Um, let's see. I'm a big sports fan. Love the White Sox, love the Bulls, love the Bears, even though they're disappointing me a little bit, but that's another story. Um, so that's, um, I earned my doctorate from Northern Illinois University, and I earned it in counselor education and supervision, and I earned my master's in community counseling from Chicago State University. I have been um, teaching for the past nine years now, and I've also, uh, on, on the side, had a clinical practice where I do clinical work as well. So, and I'm based here in Chicago, Illinois. Um, let me see what else, what else, what else, what else. I look forward to meeting with you all. Um, and like when I go over the, the, some of the things that we're gonna do in the class, you'll understand how we're gonna do it. But the way I kind of want to do everything is kind of have the first part of the class to be somewhat of a lecture discussion on the, the, um, the material that you were supposed to read from the book. And then um, from there, we're going to try to work on, um, I'm going to try to get a way to post different assessments so we can work on like a lab and kind of go over some of the assessments that you probably will um, most likely see. And then if you don't see these, you will see uh, assessments that are very similar to them. And so once you see these assessments that are very similar to them, you'll be able to uh, know how to use these assessments and no matter where you go, whether you're going to a, a school district or you go into a clinical practice, okay? Um, so with that being said, let's kind of go over a couple of things. Uh, first thing I kind of want to do is take a look at the syllabus. And this is the syllabus, like I said, it's like it's two sections. So I post, I did one syllabus and it's posted because they, you both sections meet on Mondays from five to uh, 740 Seattle time. Um, I didn't change the room, I should have changed the room, but um, you know we're gonna be meeting virtually in uh, Zoom. And the Zoom meeting dates are gonna be posted on uh, the Canvas site under Zoom. You'll be able to see the Zoom uh, meeting dates. I'll go over that in a second, okay? Um, since we are meeting virtual, sometimes on the, you know, decrease some anxiety um, it's best for you to be able to reach out to your professor when you have questions. I have posted my cell phone number on there, uh, 312-590-0718. If you need to talk to me via phone, um, that's my cell phone number. Um, also, please remember that I am two hours ahead of you. So just take that into consideration before you, um, before you call. Um, but I will also ask that you send me a text message, letting me know, you know, you know who you are and just kind of let me know that you're about to call. Okay. Um, as you can see, these are some of the just standard K CREP um, standards that we're going to be sure that we're going to uh, abide by. And these are some of the course objectives that we're going to do. Um, that you're going to understand uh, assessments and that you're going to understand them from a culturally appropriate way 
and that you will become familiar with the history of assessment and testing. And I'm going to be making, you know, that's going to be our first lecture that and also ethics and um, the legalities of assessment and testing. Um, you will become familiar with the concept of standardized and non standardized testing. You will understand how to use assessments for diagnostic and in a, intervention planning. Um, so these are some of the things that we're going to try to go over. You're going to be familiar with statistical concepts, uh, including scales of measure, measure of central tendencies, uh, validity, reliability, correlations. So we're going to be doing some of the basic uh, understandings of uh, statistical uh, work. So you'll be able to understand that. Okay. Um, very important that you attend uh, each section that uh, we are going to be meeting via Zoom. And if for whatever reason it's difficult for you to meet that day, um, like I said, I'm going to be having another section um, the following week. So if you just are free and you're able, just make sure you contact me and then maybe we can have you come in and sit in in that lecture and discussion so you won't really fall behind. The off weeks that we, um, that each section have, I'll be posting um, like little assignments and basically the assignments are, we're gonna go over in a, a brief second, but the basic the assignments is um, already kind of um, structured. And so you can kind of follow through and do kind of do those, the reading, there's gonna be some review questions after the reading that you have to read and then you have to um, write your responses to the reading and submit those. But some of the tests that we're possibly going to be looking at are um, the wide range achievement tests, Beck depression inventory, um, Beck suicidal scale, even though it's not up here, um, the uh, strong interest inventory, the kinetic family drawing, the house tree person, census completion, um, the Myers-Briggs, a Columbia test, that we're going to be looking at and kind of working with. Um, we'll probably be doing some others as well um, to familiarize you with them. And we'll try to do as many that are associated with not only schools, but also associated with clinical work, right? So you will be have so you have a, a, a generalized understanding no matter which um, program, especially you're in. That way you'll have a generalized understanding of some of the assessments that possibly can be used so you'll have an understanding, okay? Um, the test instrument research uh, assignment is where you're going to write a, you're gonna find an article, you're gonna find an article and you're gonna basically write a, a, a case report based off that clinical interview of an individual. Okay, of, of that article. So like, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna find an article, you're gonna sit down, <clears throat> you're gonna analyze that article, and then you're gonna submit that, that uh, assignment. So um, the test interpretation, uh, summative as, as assignment is basically where you're going to um, administer one of the uh, assessments that we had went over and then you're going to score it and then interpret it. Um, the test report is you're gonna write a psychological report off of the assessment that we did and the chapter review questions, like I said earlier, you're going to be uh, reading the chapters and on Canvas, I have um, review questions that I kind of want you to go over, okay? Um, like I said um, earlier, the class experience is gonna be basically, we're gonna be meeting every other week, so it depends on which section you're in, on when you're at meet days. If you're in section three, your meet day is gonna be uh, Monday, April 5th, if the first one interview on um, section four, your meet day is going to be starting section, I mean, April 12th. Okay. Um, 
when you look at Canvas, when you look at Canvas and the way Canvas is set up, um, most of the things that you're going to have to uh, work on are either the modules, and the modules will be where I will post in like video lectures. So these are going to be the things that you will have to do. And you come here, and the first assignment that I'm going to need you to do is take the Myers Briggs. Um, it's a pseudo Myers Briggs. So what you're going to do is you're going to take that. And with that being said, it's like in the assignments, what you're going to do is you're going to take the Myers Brig, and then once you do the Myers Brig, you're going to um, write a brief um, report on your um, results. And, and, and we're going to, you know, and that's all I need you to do. That's going to be due on April 5th. What you're going to do is you're going to come in. And you're not going to submit that. Don't worry about submitting that. Just come in with it and I'll give, you know, we're going to go over it in class. So if you have section three, you'll be bringing it with you in section um, four, you'll be bringing it with you on the 12th. So it's like we'll be going over in class and we'll be discussing it. And then I'll be telling you, you know, how I want to submit it then. Okay. Um, let me think of uh, any questions that you might come up with. If you do have something that happens to come up, um, we could make arrangements for you to come and sit in on the next section, but you have to let me know so I can make sure I get you the, um, Zoom information for that. Okay. Um, I don't, I can't think of any other questions. Um, I'll be posting any videos and any um, lectures on um, Canvas in the um, module and you can look at the assignments. And when you look at the assignments, you'll see the, uh, the due dates and all that. So let's take a quick look at that. And for the most part, they're going to be similar for all of them, for, for both sections. So in like week one assignment is like I said, the, um, the review reading. So with that, what you'll do is you'll read <clears throat> the first two chapters of the text, excuse me. And once you read the first two chapters, you answer these questions. Okay. And you submit that, um, that's going to be due April 11th. And so what you'll do is you read these questions in addition to the ethical codes, other standards have been developed to guide you in test selection, administration, interpretation. Which of these standards do you feel are most critical to your practice? And when I say practice, it can also mean um, as being a school counselor as well. Okay. So those are going to be the um, questions that you're going to have to do and the first two chapters, chapter one and chapter two from your text. And the same thing for um, the week two assign week uh, two assess assignment. And so it's like, um, so that's what I will be doing. And like every now and then I'll be posting different things like that. Um, the psychological reports um, where it's a, a a little scenario and then you answer the questions based off the scenario and them the, then basically the assignments that you have to do um the test instrument research is here your name of the test test author the publisher um the test publisher the date of initial publication and you come up with all this and you what you do is you'll find this um, you can find this in the mental measurement yearbook and our library here at Seattle University have, um, has a, a copy of that. And so what you'll do is you'll find an assessment in that book that you want to use. And then what you'll do is you'll create a PowerPoint slide 
based off of each one of these uh, things, right? So, um, so that's what you'll do is, and then you'll submit that through Canvas when you come to the interpretation summary assignment, um, you will um, come get a partner. Uh, I'll let you do the, the partner and you'll do either the Beck depression inventory or the Beck suicidal scale. And in a pairs, you'll take turns role playing, being a counselor to client, and you will do the test. Uh, you review the test, you interpret the test. Uh, and so it's like, you know, and it basically be based just like if you're a school counselor, you'll do it like you're in school. If you do, if you're a clinical um, mental health counselor, you will do it like that. Um, and, and the final, the final is, you know, you will have to do uh, a test report. And what the test report is basically is, is that you will write it up and it's in chapter four, how you will set it up and you come up with the demographic information, the preceding problem or the reason for the report, uh, family background, significant medical uh, things. Um, and this is how you would do that. It'd be a, uh, a four page paper, single space case report that incorporates a clinical interview of the individual. And that's what you would do. And um, we'll work on getting different um, individuals to do this. And what you'll do is you'll find someone who will voluntarily take this test for you. Um, it could be a partner, a spouse. It could be a, a, a sibling. It could be a friend, it could be, uh, um, it, could be it could be just about anyone. And what you do is you'll find someone that, that, that agrees to take the test for you. And then what you do is you administer the test, score the test, then write up the report in the psychological report format. And then once you do that, that'll be your final and you submit that. Okay. So it's like, that's how um, like a quick overview of what's going to be expected in the course. Um, like I said, the first half will kind of go over the readings, do lecture discussion. And then after that, we'll go into talking about some of the assessments that are out there. Um, I will try to make it to where um, you will be able to practice some of the assessments, but we'll figure that out as how to do that via Zoom. So um, that's about it. All right. So Take care and I look forward to meeting with all of you all uh, soon.